It's day 646. I've been watering frequently. There's not much change. I think the root system is a lot more mature than it was in year one or the first few months. So I'm not afraid to water more. Plus this pot is just small compared to the others. So it really doesn't hold that much moisture. You know, I can have the bottom watering tray fill up if I keep watering like this. I tend to use distilled water because uh, not much water volume goes in this and I don't want to salt up the soil over a very long period of time. But, um, you know, if I ever do, I could always just flush it out with lots and lots of tap water. So sometimes the tray overflows. This is day 669. There's a big weed in this pot. You know that wasn't there just a few weeks ago so as you can see life cycles come and go as this thing grows at a glacial pace if you know what this weed is uh, please let me know in the comments it's just interesting um, I'm not really good with weed names and identifying them there's so many plant species out there especially in a place like Southern California where uh, a lot of things can grow invasive or native so there's just a lot of biodiversity around here and I think this is just from some wild seed that blew in. Uh, the root system could be more extensive than that, but you know, when you pull like that, you probably just rip up all the secondary smaller roots and destroy a lot of the root hairs. So I'm just going to cut that up. I didn't show that part, but uh, here we are. You know, it just looks like a salad now. You have the roots there. Um, I think there shouldn't be any harm in just letting that dry out at the top and. I've had experience with this with my passion fruit vine. You know, in a month you won't even be able to see it. I think in this particular case, you know, just in two weeks it was kind of hard to see. So it's day 679. There's a new weed. I think it might be the same species. I forgot how the other one looked, but it was kind of similar. I think this didn't happen in the first five or six hundred days um, prior to me watering very generously every try to do it like every two days sometimes it goes a week but you can see a, a water spot from using tap water sometimes the demand for distilled water is too great so I just saw a hummingbird fly away I heard it hovering you can't really hear it in the video I think it's investigating my balcony um, it's claimed my balcony as its territory so if you are ever in the wild around here and you're just sitting near a bunch of uh, plants or wildflowers especially sometimes a hummingbird will come and hover very close to you to investigate. I think it knows it can't do anything, but I'm not sure if it's aware that I'm the one who's uh, providing for these plants in the first place. But, you know, I think they check it out every once in a while for rival hummingbirds and just try to chase them off and mark their territory. So when they do have flowers, eventually, you know, they get really excited and check out the flower buds probably every day. So I added some miracle Grow fertilizer for vegetative growth. I have too many plant series going on currently and it's beginning to take too much time to compile 10 minute to 12 minute videos. Thus I'm going back to a much shorter format to keep you informed and updated. So please like my Facebook page if you want to see additional pictures and content that's not on my YouTube channel.